just two weeks, runners and walkers will trot through the streets of Windsor, all for a very good cause. Uh, Richard Poirier is here to tell us more about the Tavern Trot, and this is all the benefit Alex's Lemonade Stand. Yeah. Many people have heard of this foundation. Sure. They might not know that it started right here in yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, it certainly did. Alex Scott was a little girl born in 1996, mm -hmm. and uh, around her first birthday, she contracted a neuroblastoma, a form mm -hmm. of childhood cancer. And I thought she was, she was out of the woods a few years later on her, on her fourth birthday, um, was back in the hospital and had told her mom, I want to start a lemonade stand to raise some money to give to my doctors so they can help other kids. Wow. Well, we lost Alex um, when she was eight or so. That just was the beginning of an amazing, amazing foundation, which lives to this day, uh, started in the West Hartford, Windsor area, uh, and has raised well over $100 million, started by a little girl's dream, and a lemonade stand. Exactly, all because of one little girl and, yeah. and a very brave heart. Yeah. Uh, what's the connection now? We've got this uh, tavern trot that's mm -hmm. put on by Union Street Tavern in Windsor. Yep. What's the Windsor connection? One of the owners, Mike Deneen, uh, one of the owners of the, of the tavern was very close to the Scott family when they were in their, in their high school days. And the tavern was opened, Union Street Tavern on Union Street in Windsor was opened um, in 2006, so on their one year anniversary. Really just wanted to do something to thank the community for the support that had been given to the, to the tavern. And a number of us on the, on the committee now, about eight or nine of us, uh, had some success in previous years uh, with a golf tournament for one of the local schools. So we got together and said, you know, what can we do? How can this group of, you know, I'd like to say committed, you know, committed folks in Windsor make some money for, for a good cause and also support the tavern and, and thank the, the Windsor residents uh, who have been good to the tavern as well. Threw around some ideas, maybe another golf tournament, a bike ride. We came up with a, with a road race. Several of us had, had done some running in the past. It's something Thus anyone performed. can do. I mean, even if you, yep. you could just walk it if you want. If you sure. want to get out there and make a difference, you can still be part of it, yep. right? And we've got one of the shirts here from, uh, was this from last year's event? Last year's the eighth. Um, it's very nice material, by yep. the way. <laughs> so it all gets uh, underway on September 20th. And tell us about the race itself. The race itself is uh, it's a little longer than your, your average 5K. It's 3.5 miles, oh, three and okay. a half miles. Through uh, from the back of the tavern through Loomis Chafee School uh, around the uh, around the school itself, there's uh, there's paved path, there's dirt path, there's the Windsor River Trail, and it finishes three and a half miles later at Union Street Tavern, followed by one of the one of the best parties you'll have yeah. in the parking lot afterwards. Awesome food, live entertainment, uh, yep. of course beer. You know, yep. a lot of runners look yep. forward to that at sure the enough. end. Three and a half miles, um, a long distance, but certainly nothing in comparison to what these families uh, go through no. battling childhood cancer. So thank you so much for making a difference. I'll be there. Yes. I hope that you will join us again Sunday, September 20th, the Tavern Trot to benefit Alex's Lemonade Stand. We have all the information on our website, NBCConnecticut.com. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Heidi. We'll see you in two weeks. All right, ahead at 9.30, time is running out to enjoy the Haddam Neck Fair. We'll take you there live for a look at what you could be missing.